What's up, guys? Metco Michael just pulled up. Whew, we're all ready for the weekend. We got a bunch of tornadoes coming in, so it ought to be an interesting day. But let's go see what Michael's got on the truck today. You guys, come on. Man at the blue, look at that. Yeah, we are. We're not hurting for boxes this week. Blue is my favorite color. There you go, a box and a cart. A box and a cart. That's pretty nice rigs. I like a slide top, so I'm know. hooked on them jokers. I might not have the slide top yet. I just haven't got out there and got one yet. That looks good with that black. Oh, so is it a special with the box and the roll cart? Yeah, I'm gonna run a special on it. Pretty nice. I like that blue. I do too. I uh, I'm normally not a fan of the black handles, but on that one it looks really good. Yeah, it does. I like it. The only thing I'd probably add on that box. Uh, I'd want to buy one of the the black eagle and put it on the bottom drawer. Yeah. But I mean that's that's if I was buying it. Mm -hmm. But I like the way that it sits. Good looking color. Mm -hmm. That matches my other box in there. It's perfect. That's right. Got you another one of them kits, Sam, didn't you? Yeah, uh, that kit. Uh, just about every time I get that kit, it sells pretty quick. So yeah, that's a good kit. Definitely got another kit in. Um, a really good kit. If you got a good multimeter, that kit just tops it off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I sure thought that was some kind of toolbox drawer line, and I didn't think about the fender covers. Well. I guess we all been primarily working on 18 weathers and stuff for a, for a while. Um, I don't, I guess that's why, I'm, but uh, now that y'all started working on regular cars and stuff, I'm sure you've seen the need for some. Mm -hmm. Armart used to, or they may still do it, they used to bring out theirs. The only problem with theirs is it would collect dirt and grit <laughs> and you're liable to do more damage than good. Which theirs was a, a fabric. Yeah, just a cloth. Yeah, I like that a lot better. That I can spray off and start over the, the cloth. I don't know. Personal preference, but. Yep. Looks like you got shells filled with the brim. As well. We Yeah, we got the truck filled. Um, we're also going to be going to a meeting this weekend, so we're going to be doing more stuff. So, that's okay. We, uh, uh, we've always had the policy, if we sell it, we reorder it. Yeah. Uh, unless it takes forever to sell, but that's very few items. But I'm wanting to get um, there's a couple of good deals at the meeting that I'm wanting to take advantage of. So sweet. Well, you got something new? That'd uh, be some gals want some of these. You may have talked about that. Yeah, I had a customer order that. Um, Pink and gray looks good. It does look good. Wally. Wally be having you order him on them. That's his color. <laughs> I just seen he's just kind of sitting out like a sore thumb down there. I'm gonna eat it. Michael's box of candy. Slowly diminishing. Neil and Wally terrorize that box every week. I don't know that. I don't know that you can say slowly, Wally. I think that box of candy. I may be wrong, but maybe I'm on. It's all. It's it's way on the other now. That's okay. <laughs> People like candy, that's fine. Well, let me go back here and see what you got on this box. You got garbage yeah. can in here? Hey, we got on the truck the other day, Monday. And Mr. Joe did not have a garbage can on his mm -mm. truck. Bring everybody a shot of whiskey. Yeah. <laughs> don't have a garbage can. <laughs> Wait a minute, y'all got a shot of whiskey and y'all worried about a garbage can? That's right. I didn't get a shot of whiskey. Bill's the only one that didn't what take it. Know. Um, I don't know what's 
remove them, but that's a thing they actually come out with. So it's a little more. That's a sharp looking set right there. Yeah, that I was just telling him that set is they consider it new. Um, that and the metric. I think you're looking at the standard. It's uh, yeah. more cost efficient. Still lifetime warranty. I mean, I can't see the difference between it and one of the other inches, but hey. If they want to lower the price and put a new sticker on it, I am good with that. That's right. Lower price is always great. I am good with that. I am losing all my little balls on my tray. Uh, I'm pretty sure I can get you took care of pretty quick on that. You know it's just a pain to get them off. <laughs> <laughs> Because here's what I did, like, it is you know, I that. bought those extra ones from me, yeah. and I wanted to add it right behind, the, you know, yeah, the, the right. full length here. So I took the end off. Well, every other one is slotted for this end. Of course, <laughs> I didn't hit it right on the first, so I had to take the other end off, too. Oh, wow. I didn't realize that. Yeah. I've never took one apart. And mine's, like, in here. Yeah, it'll be, like, this one this one and this one slide off this end and the other one slide off the other end. I did some swapping out on mine too and it took took a while to get them the way well, I wanted. Well, you know, I just figured with the other one it's just two bolts there and it, it seems pretty easy. Yeah, uh, it's full of little bitty tiny screws on the bottom side of that thing. I'm sure I got a cuss on that day. Oh, <laughs> I was just like, I thought, well, shoot, it's got to be under one of the ends. Well, this week I don't have necessarily a new tool. It's been on the market for a while. They just kind of redesigned it. But I've been showing everybody the new ratchet. Um, hopefully, uh, before too much longer, we're gonna have the long neck ratchets. But they redesigned this one. I'm sure we've talked about it in the past, but uh, I don't know if it fell on deaf ears in my territory or what, but we've had a lot of people that didn't realize that we redesigned it. So I got one in and been talking about it all week. Just the fact that they upped the speed on it because that was the complaint with everybody is that yeah. ours was a little slower than our competitors. Um, well, then snap-ons. Snap-ons was faster than ours, so they sped that one up a little bit. And, uh, of course, it's the 16 volt. Uh, hopefully, they keep talking about a long neck that, that we're coming out with. Those so long necks are nice. <laughs> well, and that's what, I, that's what I'm waiting on. I'm really, really ready to see it. Um, hoping at expo mm -hmm. the, the new stuff has kind of fell off uh the last month of decent or the last couple of weeks of december and the month of january i feel like a lot of it's going to be because you know we go to expo next month so yeah. i feel like a lot of it's going there and that's fine uh because i don't want to order just a whole lot right before expo i want to try to wait and get ready for expo but yeah we need uh, the new stuff yeah so at expo i'm ready to load up with some new stuff uh, but in the same sense, you know, that is, they do consider that new with it being uh, redesigned. Of course, you can't tell it on the outside, but it does it does spin faster. Yeah. The only the only downfall to it spinning faster is you lose a little bit of a torque, which everybody said they didn't care. Uh, so mm -hmm. I'm more of a torque. I didn't really care that it went slow, but I guess if you're doing you know, valve cover bolts or something like that. You really don't need a whole lot of torque. Right. You know, your tens, uh, what tens and twelves probably don't need a whole lot of torque. You, you just, go back with torque pitch anyway. Yeah, so. that's where you need the speed. Well, I think it's you know, I think and see, I was bad about it, and I know you're not supposed to, but again, I was a tech, so I did it anyway. I was bad about it. if I pressed the button, it wouldn't break it loose. Just crank it. Yeah, yep. just push it. Um, and I'm sure that's terrible on the heads, but I never had a problem. So uh, I'm not advising you to do that. They should but take that into account when they design that, you know. that. Well, I think that's the difference between the engineers that make the tools and the, the people that actually use the tools. Yeah. Because that's something I did without even thinking about it. Mm -hmm. Just, oh. Mm -hmm. and it normally, just needs a little help. Yeah, just normally little. it would break it loose just right then. I mean, yeah, it would. Well, Sometimes you get that one, you know, you're about to rip out the battery trying to pull the thing. Well, you know, we all, we all. I've never done that one. I feel like we all know. I've always said a technician's hand is a torque wrench, basically. Yeah. No, it's not as accurate, but you know when you put that little bit of pressure, ah, oh, let me get a ratchet. You know how much to push. That's just like when you're tightening the valve cover bolts. Not everybody's going to take a torque wrench and go over valve bolts. I didn't. Uh, 
probably should have. <laughs> but valve cover bolts, yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's yeah. true. I Just mean, a couple of Uggaduggas. Now, yeah, well, I didn't ever use an impact because ours was made out of the uh, the valve covers were like an aluminum stock type deal. And I was always, there was one model that was bad about breaking, so I didn't. But I knew that I could run it up with that and then just, I'd always go back on my ratchet and check it. Anything internal always got torqued. Yeah. That's just the way that happened. Wheels always got torqued. Mm -hmm. uh, struts, anything safety, but valve cover bolts, no. Well, what about the deal on the boxes? So, uh, you said you just put them together. I'll, I'll yeah, I'm going to do it if you. If you buy both, you get a better deal. Um, prob but now this is, again, guys, this is just my, my deals. This ain't everybody's. So, you know, I'm thinking about doing, uh, I just picked it up yesterday. Think about doing, if you, if you buy the box, you get the car half off or, or something, you yeah. know. Um, but if your dealer's not doing it, then that's, they may not have got the deal that I got. The prices on here, I may take a loss on some of my stuff just to move it. So, if your dealer ain't got the same price, don't go barking at them because everybody gets different. Just bark at them anyway. They need it. They deserve <laughs> it. It's all right. Give them hell, guys. Give them hell. <laughs> Give them cut you a deal. There you go. Right. Just show them a video and say, look, this guy can do it. You can do it too. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he did, ain't it, Wallet? <laughs> yeah. I don't know about that. but That is a nice box. I like that Pretty. box. I like um, the color. Which, if I, I've always did, if you, if you buy the box, um, I, I can give away a TV, so, um, which I'm delivering the TV that was drawn last week today. Mm -hmm. uh, he's pretty excited. I bet. But. So he can grill on his free grill and watch TV on his free well, grill? Well, I don't know where he won. He won the grill from Snap-on. I, I dropped it off last week. Of course, everybody in the shop was pretty aggravated that, that he won again. But uh, he won the grill, and they were telling me that he also won a popcorn maker from somebody. Hey. I don't know. I don't know if Jogan was giving away a popcorn maker yeah. or not. He was. Well, yeah. well apparently he. Well, maker. apparently he won the popcorn maker too. So he's won the grill, the popcorn maker, and the TV. That's awesome. So he can sit back, eat his steak with some popcorn, and watch TV. Yep. We need to get him to ride with us to Tunica. Well, you know, I had people. Only his ticket would win, man. It's <laughs> all. <laughs> well, you know, I, I told him he should. You know, we got the lottery in Mississippi now, so I told him he should probably play in that. Yeah, that's true. But uh, I don't know. I uh, I had people folding tickets in special ways, and I don't know. I, uh, that didn't work for him, though. No. It was just the luck of the draw, and he was the lucky one. We talked about that jump mm -hmm. box. The one that I'm waiting on to come in is the Versa Pro Three. I've got it ordered. I'm ready to see it. It it took the place of the Versa Pro 2, so I know it looks totally different, but I haven't really uh, read all the specs to see where it's totally different. But that's hard to believe that little bitty thing right there. With I know it. If you remember the old iPod, or not the iPods, but the old Samsung um, MP3 players, they were the same size as that. <laughs> and you're jumping a car off of that and can only listen to music on that thing. So That's true. I forget how many songs that thing would hold, but you thought it was impressive. Mm -hmm. If well, they get tote around 30 CDs. Yeah, if they yeah. get it, if they get it down to like a, a freaking, uh, you know, the little iPods used to be about that big and that wide. If we get down to that and jumping off cars, that'd be cool. Yep. Just I stick it in your pocket. Yeah. I mean, you could stick that one in your pocket. You just mm -hmm. have the cables. That you got to figure something to do with, but I've got some um, lot guys that work on the uh, dealerships and stuff that have to go around and jump the cars off. Yeah, that would be nice. They use that. Um, there, there's one guy wanting the Versa Pro 3 because they have some bigger trucks that he has to jump off. And that, he hasn't tried it, but he's, that one clearly states it won't do a V8, so he wants to get it. But even it's smaller than a regular jump box, so that'll work good for him. So is that those wrenches, the same wrenches? Well, this is the metric set. Mm -hmm. um, I think Bill's looking at getting these, but yeah. Bill's got the first set of crafts, <coughs> no, not the first set, the second set of Craftsman wrenches they ever come up with. Huh. Yeah, they had the prototypes and then Bill got the next set. And so, then every 9 sixteenths in the country. Yeah, he's got 13 9 sixteenths. So what's the 9 sixteenths for that y'all work on? 
he just got a bunch of them. Bill's probably got more nine sixteenths than Harbor Freight. <laughs> well, yeah. uh, every every wrench in his wrench drawer is a nine sixteenth. Usually, when you have multiples, you can call out exactly what you use it for. So that's Are those smooth. They're smooth. Yeah. Um, I like the flank drive, but I've never had a problem with the smooth ones that we make. So the only thing that worries me is like the Craftsman. I, I, when I first got started, I'm sure I've said it before, I, I was bought a Craftsman um, mechanic set or however they call it, even though they say you're not supposed to work on them every day. But either way, when I would go to take something off, it, it, it wouldn't do it every time, but it went around the... It'd still break it loose, mm -hmm. but you could tell, even their sockets. Yeah, it was trying to spray it. would shift a little. Yeah, you could tell. Head, yeah. And when I was working at a body shop, and that's when it was brought to my attention of, hey, you know, look what you're wrenches are doing you know it's, it wasn't rounding it it was just mm -hmm. it was like it was so i i went ahead and bought different stuff but i guess i could have used a closed end i never tried that but i'm sure well the sockets did it too so yeah i mean it's a socket did. i think it's just the tolerance all in the way that they the specs that they they've done so well do you got a set of them extractor rings i do I have put up for you. Yeah, that is a nice looking set. How much did you say those were? Uh, I run them for one fifty. Mm, uh, now I did buy them. Uh, I bought them several weeks ago, so they may be different now. Yeah, you can't beat that. I bought them at a sales meeting, so they may be higher now. I don't know. But yeah, oh, there's your extractor rings. All right, so I know everybody thinks that's a. <clears throat> I was kidding about the price, so look oh. it up and tell everybody what the price of them extractor rings are. Because for some reason, don't nobody think them things are thirty dollars <laughs> on the Matco truck and they actually work. So, yeah, on my truck and online, they're gonna run twenty nine ninety five. There you go. Y'all heard it straight from Michael. That's what they cost, and that's what we buy them for. Yeah, and, and again, I mean, that's... Awesome. And they are amazing. I mean, amazing. Right there's a part number for you guys. Wally's got a set, and I'm going to buy a set, because Wally will end up losing his, and we'll need them. Wally's already got one missing. No, surely not. You better hide that set. Or you'll have one missing, and <laughs> Wally will have all his. That's right. Wally said he would we're talking right, about you, Wally. Hey! That's a pretty good shot. You gotta get in that. Yeah, really. Alright, guys, so Bill's getting the wrenches. I'm getting the extractor set. Wally's getting a belly ache from all the candy. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't buying nothing today? Mm, receipt. Receipt. There you go. You're the only smart one on the truck. <laughs> Have all you right. heard that one? <laughs> Michael is because he's taking the money. There yeah. you go. He's a smart one. Well, I had to buy all the tools first, so. Well, guys, check the links down in the description for cool tools, discount codes, all that good stuff. If you like the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up and click that subscribe button right down there. Y'all go support your local Matco guy, get you some cool tools, and we got to go. Y'all have a good one.